your border man NJ to the city with the number two and T-O. Let's go. So once again, you know, with school being out for like the last two and a half months, um, like I said before, um, I got a lot of music. Trust me, I write all the time. And um, when it comes to the recommitting myself to Nice, like I say, I the commitment has always been there. Trust me, I never lacked in it. Um, you know, since I graduated, but I want people to understand that, you know, I just had to, you know, I just, again, look on my Instagrams, uh, NJ number two, the city, you'll see that I openly admit, you know what, I'm recommitting myself to this ambassador thing with Nice. And what that means is I'm going to God first do everything I can, you know, over the next God knows how many years to do what I can to be the most involved, the most interactive with, you know, Nice culture. And what that means is like, you know, I already make music for you. So let me just, let's just keep on ramping it up with the music. Let's keep on going out to the sport events, but let's do, well, let's work these vices of not only social media, but these interactions. Let's work these, the, these vices, you know, interactions the best way we can to where everybody knows what Nice culture is, what Nice culture stands for and how they can contribute to Nice culture. Trust me, I'm very, very <clears throat> apologetic to the fact that I can't be there during the day to set the rules or lay down the law because I know there's a lot of ostracized kids at Nice that probably feel like, you know, this culture doesn't work for us. It wasn't built for us, you know, and they don't care about us. And a lot of kids that, like I said, I know that are probably getting away with bullying every day. So I understand, you know, that, you know, Nice culture right now doesn't seem to be the purest, doesn't seem to be the cleanest, that doesn't seem to be the most interactive. Um, and like I said before, I'm sorry for so many reasons, even though I have no control over that, you know, but I know that you can talk to anybody from the class of 2021 for the most part who went to school with me in a positive way. They'll literally tell you that going to school with me, like I say, not only was lit, but it was literally, it was fun. It was exciting. It was comforting. Those are really the words for it. It was comforting. All the other words are factual, but these are more towards this topic. It was comforting. It was peaceful. It was um, indefinitely engaging because I cared about people. I cared about the students, the young impressionable minds that keep coming into our school every year as freshmen, which they come into every school as freshmen. You know, I cared. I went out of my way to get to know you all, get to know them all. Why? Because they are the God for the future of this school slash our school. And we live up to, it's not enough to just put cute little banners around saying freshmen of the future, but then when you interact with freshmen, it's just bad blood. You know, that's not good. And no offense to so many other people that I really want to name, and you probably already know who and who they are or who that person is. This is where leadership comes. From anybody that works for the school, let alone crap works for the school, for anybody that even is at the school on a daily basis. This is where leadership comes from. Leadership has to be taken from some angle, some direction, something. And, you know, and I'm, I'm not even playing with you. It has to come from somewhere. And I'm telling you as your ambassador, I read these reviews all the time. And people tell me all the time the horror stories of of um of whatever school that it is you know and i'm thinking to myself who what when where and why and especially when i read the reviews and it keeps telling me that they don't care they don't care they don't care they don't care that means the kids went to the authorities and authorities did not care they didn't do any follow-ups they don't they don't want to deal with your issues what the bleep are you there for if not to deal with these kids' issues. I don't understand how in God's name, I don't get paid for literally any of what I'm talking about right now. Nothing. I didn't get paid then. I don't get paid now. I did it as a, the pure kindness of my heart, but who am I kidding? Not everybody's me. I did it. Pure kindness, love of my heart. I did it. I went outside my way. I interacted. I cared. I showed people, niece loves you. This culture is your culture. These are your people. You know, you don't even have to interact with all of them. But still, this is a family. I don't understand why I read so many school reviews telling me that the school is corrupt from the inside out. I don't get it. What did you get into public education? What did you get into education for? Because I read, I read the same dumb reviews for private schools. What did you get into education for? To ruin kids' lives, make people's lives live in hell. Yeah, I said that. 
you know, discretion. What did you get in education for? What did you get into education for? You show no leadership. You stump on these kids. You spit on their misery. You don't do a thing to help these kids. What did you get in education for? And then, you, and then, and then, whenever they were, I mean, and then you wanted, then you have the audacity to get mad at them when they want to riot against you, when they want to get petitions against you. Then you have the audacity to get the audacity to get mad and be like, okay, I'm gonna take away this. I'm gonna do do that. Ban this. This is what I mean when I say I can't sue all these schools. I can't sue all these districts. I can't sue everybody. God knows I want to. But that's why I'm doing the best that I can to avoid that stuff and just do what I can to connect with students that I can connect with, you know, for better and for worse through these vices of just everything, you know, especially when I see them out and about randomly in public. Well, yeah, what's up? Because we've got to do this some which way. If we, dare I say, we've got to stop waiting for our spineless, you know, you get the point, you know, those spineless people to lift us up and we gotta start lifting our own selves up. That's literally what this is. Because I'm telling you, I, I have literally defended too many people on too many occasions and it's just like, they don't deserve it. They, 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 didn't, they, they didn't deserve it then, they don't deserve it now. I've defended them and all they've done is make, make the students even more rambunctious. I can't, even, I'm tell, I can't even imagine how horrible the class of 19 got out. I can't even imagine how, actually I can, they tell me all the time. You know, and then how horrible the class of 2020 got out when school was still in. These kids don't want to come back to this school. These kids don't want to go back to any school. And I mean, I'm talking as in, you know, multiple schools. Here. They don't want to come back because you did nothing for them while you were there, but put the drag them through the mud and put them through just horrible things. You did nothing for them. Nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to stop this. One way or another, I don't know, I'm putting a stop to one way or another. We've got to stop this. If you're in that education system, you are in there to serve those kids. I'm telling you, you're in there to serve those kids. And dare I say, to an extent, to be more God honest, I feel like Drake said it back to back, please do not let these people near me. I swear, God, as my judge witness, forgive me if anybody like, oh, he swear now, forgive me. I promise you, I feel the same way to an extent. Do not let these people who are playing with these kids, not education here, playing with their mental health and youth development for paychecks, pay raises, more money, more funding. Forget you. Forget you. I'm telling you, that stuff is fake. It's fraudulent. We, life is more than money. And if you don't believe that, then I already know where you're going in your afterlife. And I'm not going to say that exact word, but you know where you're going in your afterlife. If you don't think life is more than money. Life is Jesus. Life is spirituality. Life is inner peace. And you can't put price tags on any of those three. I'm not here to be politically correct. One of the top things I want everybody to understand. NJ to the city, your ambassador, Nice ambassador, if you are here, uh, yeah. I'm not here for political correctness. That's not to say that sometimes you won't catch me doing political correctness just to do it. Just because, like I said, I am a st I'm still a professional and I still want to represent myself in certain lights within certain situations. But I'm telling you, overall, I'm not here for political correctness. I'm not here, dare I even say to, actually, I am here to be your friend, but I'm not here for political correctness. But I'm here to be your friend to hold you accountable and show you God's love. That's what I'm here to be your friend for. And I'm telling you, we got to do a better job by these kids. We have got to do a better job. If we do not do a better job, these kids will continuously feel ostracized. And I'm telling you, all people who are in these schools, if you're not doing a better job taking care of these kids while you're in, they're, while, while, they're, while they're there with you, you can only blame yourself for the reason why these kids go home with tremendous amounts of depression, anxiety, and a few other words I just can't name, but I know they exist. Mental health is real. Youth development is essential. We have got to do better by these kids. It is not good or it is not right at all for a kid to literally have honor rolls, but then feel so depressed, hopeless, miserable in the processes of getting it. Now, I'm telling you, that correlates into not everybody has the same um, financial future, academic future, uh, workforce future, you name it. Not everybody has the same. But that's what, again, constructive good schools are supposed to do is godly talk to and cater plans for all these students. I don't give a how many students. Do it. Because I'm telling you, if I was there, which is why, to an extent, I really, really need to be there. 
God knows I did it when I was there as a school student. I would do it any time, any day. You name the place, you name it, you name it. I would do it. I don't care if I have to talk to a thousand kids. I will make that time, make that way. God is good. That's how I slay. That's how I make the deals done. Or that's how I get the deal done. That's how I make these kids day. That's how I bring the awareness. That's how I do it. Why? Because I'm here for the kids. I'm here for their mental health awareness, for their youth development. I'm here to help them prom in their mental health development. <laughs> wow, combine both those words. You get the point. That's what I'm here for. I'm not here for paychecks. I'm not here for pay raises. I'm not here for cheap, dirty, twisted money. I'm here for the kids' development. I've always been here for that, and I will always be there for that. Wow, so much passion. That's how passionate I am about all these issues for these kids. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't believe me, again, I got so many vlogs up and down this channel. Look some up, okay? I got social media, NJ to the City. Look, look, look me up. This is who I am. Okay, I'm not here to, I'm to, I love being a professional. Love being a people person. But I am not here to sacrifice kids, mental health, or youth development. I'm not here to even sugarcoat their family issues. I'm not here for that. I'm here to help them with their family issues. And in school, that is one of your top five jobs, if not top three. Help these kids with their family issues. As I've said before about churches and so on, you don't have to agree with what, everything your pastor says, everything your, um, what's it called, congregation says. The same thing with the school. You don't have to agree with everything your principal says, everything the students say. You don't have to agree with everything. But try something. Go somewhere. Godly, positive, creative, innovative. You've got to start and try something. What you're doing now has not been working. It is helpless. It is, a, it is it just disastrous. Disastrous. We've got to do something different. We have got to do something more by these kids. Ladies and gentlemen, I say this because I am tired of reading school review after school review after school review, getting the updates on my phone. Why in the world are people so dang negatively, negatively, demonically sick in today's society? Why do people take pride in making the news for all these garbage and disgusting things? Why? Stop putting yourself in these positions. God, forgive me if I ever have ever put myself in those positions. Because God knows that's never, ever been my intent. I'm telling you, I'm not here for all that. I'm here to tear all that stuff down and boost up everyone's spirits in Jesus' name. That's what I'm here for. I will always be here for that. I am NJ to the city, Nice Ambassador, VRA Hawk Ambassador. I'm here for the future of these kids. I'm here for the future of the students. I'm here for the future of the school to succeed and prosper in Christ's name. Now, again, I'm talking about public schools here. So I understand that not everybody's going to say Christ. Not everyone's going to say Jesus. I understand not everybody believes in the same thing. I get that. I'm not here to make everybody believe in, believe in the same thing. What I'm here to do is to still show you levels of professionalism, show you ways of making less mistakes, showing you ways of doing things cleaner, how to innovate, how to talk to your neighbors, how to love thy neighbors as self. There's so many different godly ways that you can bring God in there without using his name, particularly in public schools, because these are public schools. There's so many different innovative, clean ways you can do it with bits and pieces here and there. You just have to know how to do it and want to do it. And I'm telling you, if you don't want to do it, then you need to get, get out of there. Get out of there. And let somebody real be in there to help these kids. The schools have got to turn into families and homes some which way, some type of way now so these so 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 we can prosper. We can finally start healing and prospering. Trust me, I got a lot more coming soon. So thank you all for listening, watching, and subscribing. I hope this rain entertained you. And I hope I didn't embarrass myself too much. It's just passion. You're going to hear it regardless of what you're in the video. Hear it on the live stream, here, wherever, you're going to hear it because I am passionate about these topics and these issues. I'm passionate about youth development, and this is what I am, Nice Ambassador, VRA Hawk Ambassador for. Your border man, Entry to the City, out. God bless.